hurry up. We're gonna miss the movie. Relax, it doesn't start for another 20 minutes. I know, but I wanna get snacks. No need to worry, Andy, because I... Packed a ton of snacks in this hat. That's not suspicious at all. I know. I was kidding. You look like you built coffins in the Wild West. I do? You look like Frosty the Snowman, but made out of mashed potatoes instead of snow. I do? You look like Fred Astaire. Well, that's not so bad. No, I'm sorry. You look like you fell down the stairs. And then put on a top hat. Well, thanks a lot. I was trying to look like Abe Lincoln. Did somebody say ain't blinking? No. Because if so, I haven't blunked since 1977. What? Is blunk the past tense of blink? Yes. But wait, why would you want to look like a guy who doesn't blink? No, it's not ain't blinking. It's Abe Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. Oh, my aunt tries a Lincoln. Every single time she starts it, it goes... <laughs> what? Guys, Lincoln is not a car or a guy who can't blink. He's one of the most famous Americans to ever live. And your plan is to dress up like him and sneak a bunch of snacks into the movie theater under that hat. Yes. We're gonna need a bigger hat. That's fine. We'll stop and get a bigger one on the way. And while we're driving there, I'll tell you all about the history of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln came from a working family and was named after his grandfather, Abraham Lincoln Sr. One day, in 1786, Lincoln's grandfather and his three sons, Mordecai, Josiah, and Thomas, were planting corn on their farm when they were attacked by a group of Native Americans. Uh, you guys know I can see you, right? No, you can't. Yes, I can. Ah, uh, what about now? Hey, where'd you go? What? Lincoln's grandfather was killed, and the family's farm was left to Mordecai. This left Josiah and Thomas with little to nothing. Because of this, Thomas had to work incredibly hard, saving enough money to eventually buy a farm. And in 1806, he married Nancy Hanks. And in the following year, they had their first daughter, Sarah. In 1809, the couple were able to buy a farm called Sinking Springs Farm in Kentucky and built a small one-room log cabin on it. Here, on February 12th, 1809, Abraham Lincoln was born. Abe also had a younger brother, Tommy, who died three days after being born. Slavery was a common practice at this time, and although it was legal in the state of Kentucky, Lincoln's father, who was a religious Baptist, refused to own any slaves. In 1816, when Abe was seven years old, his family moved across the Ohio River to southwestern Indiana, where Lincoln spent the remainder of his childhood. As a young boy, Abe often helped his father on the farm and didn't receive much of an education. Despite this, he was said to be a huge reader and taught himself many things. I wish he taught you how to be less suspicious. You look like you're smuggling Justin in that thing. Just be cool. Uh, ticket please. Uh, hey. We're busted. Oh no. What's with the hat? It's, uh... Wait, I know. You're that president. Exactly. The one who doesn't blink. Uh, go ahead, the third theater on the right. What? By the time Abe was nine years old, his mother had passed away. It's said that Lincoln's mom helped make Abe the honest and compassionate man that we know today. And she stressed the importance of learning and reading on Abe as a young boy. Hey Abe, did you see the box of Captain Crunch that I... Nope. Are you sure? Because I think there's... Hi Mama Dokes, you got me. What? Lincoln's sister took care of Abe for a time. But eventually, Abe's father remarried and moved his new family to Illinois. Abe loved his stepmother very much and it's said that she loved Abe's curious mind and gifted him some books. And at this time, books were kinda hard to come by. Once Abe was old enough to be on his own, he left home and started working for himself. As a young man, Lincoln worked a variety of jobs, including a rail splitter, a postmaster, a surveyor, and a shopkeeper. Once, while working as a shopkeeper, someone paid the wrong amount of money for something. Abe supposedly ran miles to give a customer the right amount of change. Sir, sir, you forgot your change. Thank you, sir. And as a reward, I shall give you macaroni and cheese and popcorn. What? It's said that this earned him his legendary nickname of Honest Abe. So you just snuck snacks into a movie theater dressed like Honest Abe. 
A little hypocritical, don't you think? Relax, Andy. It's perfectly legal. Bruh! Down in front! Yeah. Any chance you snuck a mop or some wet wipes in here? My feet keep sticking to the floor. I know. Even my hands keep getting stuck to the seat. I think you better take that off. The person behind us is getting really ticked off. Trust me, Andy. Just like old Honest Abe, I can handle myself. Around this time, Lincoln had grown to be the tall, lanky man we see today, standing about six foot four inches tall, with size 14 shoes, and was noted as being incredibly strong for being so skinny. It's also said that he was an incredibly tough and skilled wrestler, having wrestled over 300 men and only losing once. In 1832, he volunteered in the Black Hawk War and was enlisted as a captain. Lincoln was interested in politics and law at this time and taught himself to be a lawyer using books he borrowed from a friend. Soon, he became one of the most highly respected lawyers in Illinois. Around this time, Lincoln met Mary Todd and the two married in 1842. They had four children, Robert, Edward, William, or Willie, and Thomas, or Tad as he was called. Lincoln eventually got into politics and served on the Illinois State Legislature for several terms. He even ran for the U.S. Congress in 1849. If elected to Congress, I will strengthen our military, boost the economy, and bring freedom to all. And everyone gets a little Ain't Blinkin bumper sticker. He won the election and served as a congressman for one term. Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Do you swear on this good book that you'll do a great job? Uh, this is a hamburger bun. What? After serving as a congressman, he continued to work as a lawyer. And later, Lincoln ran for the U.S. Senate. He didn't win, but he became very popular due to his arguments against slavery during a debate. Slavery was the practice of owning people, and Lincoln felt that this was morally wrong. In 1860, he ran for President of the United States. But a few weeks before he was elected, Lincoln received a letter from an 11-year-old girl named Grace Bettle. She urged him to grow a beard to help him get elected. Soon thereafter, he grew his legendary beard. And shortly after that, he was officially elected president, becoming the 16th President of the United States of America. Lincoln's win was controversial at the time, since many states in the South were in favor of slavery, and Abe was not. This brought about the idea of secession, or states leaving the United States and starting their own country. Eventually, 11 states left the U.S. and formed the Confederate States of America. This was the start of the Civil War. We're about to have a civil war if you don't take that hat off. I don't know how much more this guy will take. Take the hat off! No, not until the movie starts. Besides, maybe I could put an end to this problem just like Lincoln did with the Civil War. What do you mean? Let me explain. The Civil War officially began on April 12th, 1861 at Fort Sumter, South Carolina, when troops from the Confederacy attacked the U.S. fort. The war lasted for four years, and during it, over 600,000 soldiers died. Although Lincoln didn't have much of a military background, he proved to be a great wartime leader. 
Lincoln had a goal of bringing the country back together with the idea of ending slavery. On January 1st, 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, an order given by the president to free the slaves in the Confederate States. Because of this, he was given the nickname of the Great Emancipator. In July of that year, the Confederate States of the South suffered some major losses at the Battle of Gettysburg in Pennsylvania. Many people on both sides died, and this saddened Lincoln. Soon thereafter, at a memorial ceremony, Lincoln delivered his legendary Gettysburg Address. In his speech, he said the legendary words, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. In the speech, he talked about the purpose of the Civil War, the Declaration of Independence, and urged Americans to follow him and unite. Lincoln was soon re-elected as president, and eventually, the South surrendered. Lincoln wanted the country to heal, forgive, and rebuild. He wanted to be generous to the southern states in helping them during the Reconstruction. Unfortunately, he would not live to see the country rebuild. On April 14, 1865, Lincoln attended a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Hmm, I wonder what this play is going to be about. just weird. What? During the third act of the play, John Wilkes Booth, a well-known actor and a Confederate spy, entered the president's box and shot Lincoln at point-blank range and shouted, Six Semper Tyrannus, or thus always to tyrants. He shot Lincoln because he himself was a supporter of slavery. Booth believed that Lincoln was determined to overthrow the Constitution and destroy the South. After shooting Lincoln, Booth jumped to the stage below. He landed hard, breaking his leg, before escaping on a horse waiting behind the theater. He was eventually found and killed. Lincoln was carried to a boarding house across the street from the theater, but he never regained consciousness and died in the early morning hours of April 15, 1865. But his accomplishments as president, including putting an end to slavery and restoring the United States after the Civil War, are considered as some of the greatest achievements of any president ever. Wow, if this movie's half as good as this Lincoln guy is, we're in for a treat. Speaking of treats, where are the snacks? Uh-oh. My hands. They're stuck to the seat. Uh-oh. Mine are too. That's it! I'm taking that hat off! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Two things. First, what did you think of my Ain't Blinkin' song? Comment below to let me know. You can download it at my Teachers Pay Teachers site if you'd like. It was made with the help of a couple people, including Emily, Ava, and Nicholas Zork, Lance Davis, and last, Dan, Mazzy, and Zen Shram. They were all a huge help, so special thank you to them. And check out their sites listed here. I'll link them in the description box as well. Also, on my Teachers Pay Teachers site is my Ain't Blinkin' quiz and coloring page. If you're a teacher, you can show this video, give my quiz, and relax for a few minutes, so check it out. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep my channel going. Without them, there's no me making videos, so thank you to them. Especially Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Evan Lee, Sam and Eddie from London, Ben and Ollie, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Amelia Silva, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Charles and Olivia, Gabe and Elijah, Philip and Anna Buckley, Connor Higgins, Christopher F., Marley and Jackson Keeling, Jordana and Aaron, John Arthur, Paisley, Hannah Lay, Whitney, and Brian, Creative Devin and Zach T., Jameson Stone Selkowitz, Witten Cruz and Reese Miller, Jack Hartzler, Elijah Robert, Luke Raposa, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Julie Sanchez, Riker Smith, Wesley C., Eliza Sawyer, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Phoenix Cooley, Henry Pavelko, JJ Castro, JJ Schmidt, Mabel and Graham, Aiden Fenway Riley, Toothless and Light Fury, Jakey Jake, Stephen McVie, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Benjamin M, Millie Fennel, Gavin Meidel, Ada S, Mika, Jordan and Maya, 
Madison H., The Puffin Boys, Ian, Parker, and Braylon Callis, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Kuchan115, Ronan X, and Raiden Z, Connor Lecoque and Family, Max C, Jasper Soros Rex, Jack Martin and Everett Ryan, Lily, Annabelle, Thomas and Everett, Lennon, McCotna, Jones, Page, Avalon and Cash, Julian, Jackson and Jacob, Max from South All, Cosette, Minx, Mavis and Enzo, Alexander, Julian and David, Harper Benson, The Gelker Family, Miller Daniel and his mom Jennifer, Kylan, Noah Chin, Soren Alvarado, Rebecca Beanie, Oshi, GC, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Callum G, Greg Matlock, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Charlie Stone, Nathan and Ava C, Victor B from Canada, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Timmy C, Zane and Asher Davis, Hannah Y, Kate and Sarah, Dominic McAvee, Burning Wick, The Greens, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Chris the Megalodon, Angelina R, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Connor and Emma B, Virginia and Harrison Way, Liam and Evelina, Beatrice Ballar, Sammy Osif, Elias Mark Turner, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Max and Kaz, the Rivard Boys, and Asher Evans. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in my next video, so please check it out. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys.